Hello, and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the GM3. A unit that was not like the GM2 in that it was a actual advancement in the suit's capabilities and a, and if overall performance. The GM3 was first seen in Gundam Double Z or Double Zeta, and it features a number of things such as the Mark II Gundam's backpack, a number of different missile systems, and so on. It uh, is an interesting suit overall in game. It is a 400 cost to 550 unit with a ground and space capabilities as a general with ballistic and beam resistance of 15, a melee resistance of 12, a range strength and melee strength of 25, a movement speed of 125, and a thrust gauge of 60, the plus ones from the enhancement. For parts, we have close range of 7, medium of 11, and long range of 10. This suit is a mid-ranger. And for equipment, we have the GM-3 Beam Rifle. It's a heat-based weapon that instantly staggers on a regular attack. We have the GM-3 Beam Saber, so you can whiffle bat away. We have the head-mounted Vulcan modified it's basically one year war vulcans a little bit more power though so that's nice then we have the shoulder missile pod these are simply fire at wherever you're aiming and that's where they go and then we have the waste large missile launcher now you have to stop to fire these but they do have a large explosive area and they can do some pretty nasty damage and they fire in pairs. And then we have, of course, a large shield. For skills, we have Leg Shock Absorber Level 3, Emergency Evasion System, High Performance Balancers, High Spec and Back Level 2 Frontline Support System, Melee Combo Controller, Forced Injector, which is always nice, and Personnel Radar Level 2. In game, my opinion of the GM3 is it's a fantastic follow-up suit. It can do some decent damage, it can mix it up, but it teams actually remarkably well as a follow-up to a raid or as the guy that's protecting a support so the support can get some damage in there because the missiles have decent range and you have some stopping power to really annoy raids. So. Let's see how this unit does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the video everybody. We're going to be uh, going over this match a little bit. And um, so the GM3 is one of those units that it's pretty effective. But I've seen a lot of people rely a little too heavily on its, um, its range capabilities. And that can get you into some trouble. But it's a good unit overall, fairly well-rounded, and I think it does serve a decent uh, role in uh, a, a group. So we're going to start this off by doing a little bit of blasting behind our uh, goof flight type. And we're going to slide a little bit, but not fall for a change. Now, I think this team was trying to set up here... To uh, counters a little bit so I decided I was gonna jump up here a bit and try to pick at them we'll take a shot but we'll miss and then we'll throw some missiles down just to pick a little bit trying to dislodge these guys and uh, catch them where we can Ooh, there's a nice big shot on that guy we're gonna wait fire again did a nice beefy amount of damage we're gonna fire those missiles I don't know why he stayed there but you know, he, he made that choice, so we're just going to keep using uh, those missiles to do what we need. And uh, we're going to get some decent damage in there, quite honestly. Their, uh, their support's going to come in. We're going to throw a little bit of fire, let our team push them. And uh, I'm just going to poke a little bit with the missiles. And then I'm going to move up. And oh, there's a, an enemy GM3. And we'll try to uh, not catch our guy in the wrong way. We're going to move up, 
but we're not going to be able to quite finish the deal. Jam out a little bit, catch him with that, and then finish him off. And I believe that was, nope, it wasn't a double. So we're going to wait for a second, see who he uh, focuses on. He's going to jet off that direction. We're going to push a little bit and fire into his legs, come in, come up short on our attacks. And then we see our friend over here. We're just going to fan some missiles his way. Uh, and quite honestly, uh, you know, oh, we're going to get caught by his rod. He's going to smack us. We're going to dodge out of the way, wait for it, fire into him, then catch him with the melee attacks. And we're going to time those out a little bit so we, uh, we make sure not to get countered too easily. He's going to focus over there, which is not a super great idea on his part, but he's not dead yet. So I want to come up, not get seal the deal on that attack, push back. We're going to continue to pursue the GM custom, I believe, and uh, we're going to knock him down. No, uh, yeah, it's, it's the custom. I was getting confused for a second. Um, we're going to come up and try to help our, uh, our support a little bit. I see this guy coming up, but he's gone. So we'll just go ahead and fire the missiles off that direction, take a shot at him, and we'll fire our missiles. It's always worth taking a little bit of time. And, uh, you know, we're not being massively focused on, so we're just going to keep picking at people and inconveniencing them. Uh, it's kind of what this unit's role is in a way. Uh, their support's going to go that direction. I'm going to fire some rounds at the one unit there. And then, uh, well, I'm not going to be able to hit him, but I'll take a shot anyways. Fall down. Uh, move up. We're going to pre-fire in the hopes of catching him with those missiles. There we go. And we see our fellow version of us over here. We're going to get a shot from the side, from the support there, and another shot. Because the only way he can do anything is standing on a hill. Take a shot there. And we'll work a little bit of that into him. And we'll just finish off one. Yeah. Pell Rider Calvary there. Uh, our legs are in a very bad situation, and so is our health. So we're going to try to fall back and rely a little bit more on our uh, range. It used to be an annoying uh, pain in the ass for some people. And we'll just throw some fire in there. And, uh, well, we're, we're going to use the head Vulcans. They're there for a reason, dang it. And there we go. We'll work him over. I see the guy behind me, but my legs are out. Ooh. And there we go. First death. Not too bad. So we're going to spawn in at B, and we got a lot going on. We're going to take a shot over there, help our guy out, throw some missiles, get rid of that target. I see one is in a bit of damage. Uh, taking a bit of damage. We're going to come up, hit our raid friend here, miss on those. But we're going to dodge out, and we're going to hold off just a second for uh, Big Daddy to uh, get to work on that guy. And then we're just going to throw missiles down and pile up that gun. Not bad. Not bad. And we'll fire some big missiles down and catch a, sh a little bit of that guy. Catch a shield with the beam. And I see their support over there. I don't know why he wants to focus on me so bad, but oh, he hit me somehow. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to come around this way. And I'm going to try to bait a shot, but I also noticed the artillery shot was going to come in. So I figured I'd hang out for a second. I'm going to use the opening here, which you can shoot through if you want. Oh, no. He decided not to go that direction. So we got to uh, shift our attention. Just work him over a little bit. And since we're the last guy besides number five, we're just going to back off and play defensive. Use the turn the shield towards them and use our fire to uh, smack them. I'll call BS on that one shot hitting me, but whatever. Now we're going to make this guy have a bad day. 
just work him over as much as we can. We're going to jump off to the left and then fire into him. Come up, put a little bit of pressure on uh, that Calvary. But I can't maneuver too much because uh, oh, that uh, one Dom is a little thick. I'm going to fire some big missiles over there just to ward off their support. Come in, sneak a shot, but well, it was so sneaky it went through him. And there we go. I'll turn over here in an effort to help our guys catch the cavalry with that second. And come in, get a little bit more on him, and then bail out because, well, hopefully he doesn't. Well, he's just going to ignore us, isn't he? And we'll just take him out there. I'm going to uh, work this guy over with the Vulcan to Tad. And we're going to pursue him over here. And we're going to get him with melee strikes. But we're getting real close, so we're not going to be able to quite finish him off. And that will be the match, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad. We had Big Daddy in there, so there you go. So there's our victory pose with the sassy hip and two board spots, not bad. And second place, thanks for joining me, bye bye.